Hi, Moto here, this time going to the absolute top of the ladder in slap bass. Mark King, level 42, the song is Mr. Pink, from the introduction. You'll want to take a look at the real thing sooner or later. It is a YouTube search. King Slap Solo will do the job. If you search for those three words, it'll be the first hit. What we're going to learn is 20 seconds through 27 seconds. Very short, very fast, very impressive, and very easy. So, we'll take a run through it right now, once at 180, once at 90, and then a walk through so you can see every single strike. Here we go. at how unbelievably simple this is. It breaks into five pieces naturally and that's what I, how I'm going to show it to you and I recommend you get it into your head this way and then it'll flow just beautifully. So the first part, that's what I'd suggest, those six hits. So it's thump, slap, thump, and when you pluck actually make the note in this case and it is the high E, and then two more hits, a thump and a slap. And that's it for the first part of five. Now, the next part is pretty simple. Again, it's about six hits. Okay. And I wanted to break up all the percussion because this is the standard, most common way to get into anything on slap bass. In fact, it is the number one figuring for a triplet. It is a thump, a slap, and a pop. And what you're going to do on the second part is... Nice full octave drop. So together, which is the first 40% of this, Okay, part three. That's all. Now if you wanted to fill all the silences, what you could do instead of three hits is four. But do three, leave the silence unless you're really good at it. Next part is, uh, again, really simple. The only double, uh, double stop, this is the number one most common double stop, I think, in slap bass. What it is on the E is the third and the flat seven. And it really sounds beautiful. And you can easily slide up from below it or from above it. So. Next one. I slide one finger partly to develop discipline and I want to be able to do this quickly and so this is something I consider again a trick. It broadens my horizons, it makes me a lot more flexible so I'm suggesting you think about it too. All done. And the last one is fascinating for this reason. Pluck, pluck, hammer on, pluck. That's genius. That's Mark King. That's how you get speed. Because you can hammer on and pluck almost at the same time. You get fabulous speed from those two. And the harmonic is over the fourth fret. And what's really interesting about it is you're in E and you are playing a sixth, a ninth. 13th, which is really the 5th. And it happens that the harmonics are exactly above that and they're the same note. So, once again, a little bit of genius. So, I'll just play it slowly through so you can see.
hit that with the back of my fingernails. Now a quick word on the gear this time. I think you'll be interested. This is a Line 6 Variax bass, discontinued for lack of interest. It has no pickups, you'll notice, and the reason is there's a piezo set under the bridge. And this carries on it the definitions for 22 basses and four synthesizers, including a stand-up bass, which really sounds wonderful. There are three Fenders here, Rickenbacker, Hoffner, Steinberger, and a whole bunch of other stuff. I could have used a Stingray Music Man, but the Modulus Flea bass is here, and it's got a little more punch, and I really liked using that one, so that's what you're listening to. I also got all of the compression I could find on the planet Earth, a very clean uh, amp, it's a model, but it's a Vox AC30, and four 12-inch Celestian speakers, so that's what's actually going on here. Now, just a couple of comments, and then one more video piece, which I think you'll enjoy. The comments are, first of all, that it's never been easier in history to learn to play an instrument, and the main reason is YouTube and places like it, and the second main reason is the software you can get. So here are the two pieces I really recommend. The first piece of software is get a YouTube downloader, whatever you like. Go to CNET.com, by the way. Everything is vetted for viruses. It's all clean and it's free. But the other thing you've got to get, I think, is the KM player. It's a video player and it's got the three features you really want. The first thing is you can slow the whole thing down, the audio and the video, 5% at a time. The second thing, it has AB, which your MP3 player ought to have, and that is you mark the start and the end of the passage you want to hear, and then it just loops over and over and over until you got it in your head, and that's the way I learn. And the third thing is you can nudge the audio track underneath the video track, and that's a wonderful feature as well. Finally, just before I go, Guitar I played for a long time, bass for only three years. I have been amazed at the crossover that exists. So I think you'll enjoy this. Thanks for watching. Please hit subscribe if you got an account. I got a ton more things coming. Thanks very much. Bye bye.